The vision in my right eye has been pretty bad lately, so I ordered a new glass eye from China. How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the channel. Special shout out for all you new guys that I saw subscribing lately. Thank you so much for sticking around. Today we're gonna take a look at this new toy I got from China. I always love watching like unboxing videos, so I didn't open the package before I actually got to film it. So this isn't the original uh, lens ball, if that's what they call it. This is some ripoff version that I actually got in China, so we'll see how good it is and how bad it distorts the pics. I got the biggest one I could find, I think this one was like 80 millimeters or something, and it's really heavy. I mean, this thing is pure glass, so it's really weighty. Wrapped nicely in some paper to prevent it from scratching or breaking. Oh, that is so cool. Check it out. How awesome is that, man? I love this. Look at it. Look at it. Ah, I have to change the focus. Which way do I Which way do I focus? Look, you can see the guitar in the back. That is so cool. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Not a perfect coating, not a perfect product, but I think it's gonna get some awesome pictures. So let's go outside and check it out. So let's get right into the how-to part. Shooting a lens ball is pretty easy, except that you have to consider the composition of two frames. You have to compose the actual picture and you have to compose what you see inside the lens ball. So remember all those basic elements of composition, like the rule of thirds and leading lines and repe repeating patterns and use them in both of those two frames. There are many types of lens ball shots, but the ones you see most often are generally in three categories. You have super wide shots, where generally everything's in focus, or just the ball's in focus. You have the medium shots, and you have the really close-up or macro shots. As you've probably seen, what you see inside the lens ball is actually upside down from the real world. So what I've seen people do is flip the image, the whole, the entire image upside down, and then what's inside the ball is actually visible. And this works best on the really close-up shots, because then the whole world being upside down isn't as confusing. Generally, the type of subject that works best with a lens ball is something extremely contrasty. So for example, silhouettes of buildings on a sunset background or the bright city lights and the night sky because that contrast is really seen inside the lens ball. So let's see what you can do with a lens ball. First of all, you can hold it in your hand in various types of positions. It can be like this, it can be like this, it can be upside down. You can be throwing it up in the air for levitation. A cool effect I've seen is aligning the lens ball with the horizon and then you get one complete line throughout the entire composition. Something you don't want to ignore is the texture that you're going to get underneath the lens ball because so much of the texture is going to be seen inside it that you want to make sure it's like full of lights or some kind of texture or some kind of color or just put it on some reflective surface like a puddle for example. You put it in a puddle on a sunset you get a double reflection and it looks really cool. Another awesome technique I've seen is putting some object behind the lens ball to fill in the complete ball. For example you put a rose or some kind of flower behind it and all of a sudden that ball looks like a flower lens ball thingamajig. And finally a really basic retouching technique where you can take the surroundings of the ball, desaturate them, uh, motion blur them, gaussian blur them or just darken the entire image so that the lens ball pops completely out of the frame. I hope you found this video interesting with some extra ideas for how you can shoot your lens ball. Thanks so much for watching guys. Sub if you like my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you think it was a cool video and I'll see you around next week. What's the most newbie way I can end a video like the way everyone... Oh, peace! Pamalo, sad mañe, hai.